Our top story today. Khaki Fellow, high-ranking member of the Faunus hate group The Natural Order, has been arrested. He is charged with felony counts of armed robbery, aggravated assault, and theft. Sources report that two teams of second-year Beacon Academy students apprehended the criminal, but in doing so violated the established mission terms set by professional huntsmen. This is one of several incidents where unqualified students have stepped out of line. In the wake of these events, as well as the veil breach last year, we must ask ourselves, if this pattern of behavior persists, how can we trust Beacon Academy's graduates to protect us? This reporter can only speculate. And now, the weather. <sighs> I told you we were in trouble. No one supervise missions till summer. They're out of their minds! This might be the worst thing that has ever happened to anyone, ever. Hey, you wanted to go inside that factory. You wanted to shoot a man! But technically, I wouldn't have gone inside. Professor Goodwitch! What's going on with Cardin? Why didn't Ozpin let him leave with the rest of us? Considering Mr. Winchester took it upon himself to apprehend Roman Torchwick, failed. Wanted to abandon a fellow student and blame the rest of you during his debrief. <sighs> Professor Ospin is still reprimanding him. I imagine he will be suspended for the remainder of the term. The headmaster has sent me to elect a leader for Team Cardinal in the interim. I'm truly spoiled for choice. How, how about Dove? Him? Hey. Ah, yes. Sanctum's number two. What makes you say so? Well, he helped us save Blake. He stood up to his teammates and... He even took a hit meant for me. I think he'd be the best option. Mr. Bronzewing, it seems your fate is sealed. The alternatives are hardly convincing. Man! Fair. With that cleared up, I'd suggest you hurry along. I know you students are magnets for trouble, but please try not to destroy the school or burn down the city. Well, the mission thing sucks, but at least Cardin's getting it worse. I'm sorry. It was my idea to go inside the factory in the first place. If I had taken more of the blame, you guys maybe would have had less to deal with. Oh, pfft. Please, Cardin was going to march in there had you suggested it or not? Definitely woulda. Guy's pretty stubborn. Didn't even run when that giant Ursa attacked us for a semester. You probably should have stayed to help him, given that you're supposed to be huntsmen. It was a big Ursa! See what I mean? These clods would have needed us to babysit either way. Babysit? I don't need... Boy! Uh-oh. What's all this I hear about you screwing up? <laughs> well, uh, you see- I didn't raise you just so you could fail a simple mission. So who's the jolly green giant? Bertilac Celadon. He took Russell in after finding him as a kid. Yeah, I guess he heard about this and flew all the way here from Vacuo. Hey, uh, Ruby. I appreciate you vouching for me, but why? I just- said what I was thinking, and I kinda owe you for taking that shot from Roman. Huh. I've gotta say, I thought it was a joke to let a 15-year-old into Beacon, but working with you and seeing you fight Torchwick, I guess what I'm saying is, I definitely respect you more than I did. Just do us all a favor and try to be a better leader than Cardin. I suppose we've been pretty awful to everyone. We don't have to like each other, but consider this an olive branch. Get over here, Dove! You and I need a talk! And there's my grandpa. Probably here to rip me a new one. Better get this over with. Come on, Sky. Let's go. For what it's worth, I had a lot of fun with you guys. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Oh! Uh, hey, Blake. Tell that velvet girl that you guys don't need to worry about my team being asses anymore. 
You guys? He knows you're a faunus? He could sense the kitty ears with his bat powers! Maybe he always knew and kept it to himself. That's slightly hopeful, I guess. Ruby, did you just make friends with one of Team Cardinal? I wouldn't go that far. Acquaintances? No, not quite. A healthy ambivalence? That's the one. Speaking of healthy, maybe we should try and grab some food while we have the chance. Wait, we haven't eaten since yesterday. Let's hit the cafeteria. Maybe we can find out how Juniper's mission went. Picture the scenario. We're pinned down, backs against the wall. The odds are against us. Nightmares, wolves, husks. Jean and Pierre are fused at the mouth. Whoa. Ah. But the Grim forgot one thing. They were facing off against Team Juniper. The huntsman we were shadowing did most of the work. Did not. I was the one who sent the Grim running. Grim, do not run. Ever. Hm. You never let me have any fun. Now that's definitely not true. So, how did your mission go? And... I think that answers my question. We're banned from anything except supervised patrols till summer. Sounds like your mission went better? Are you kidding? They had Pira Nikos on their team. Uh, dial it back a little, Shovel Boy. You're embarrassing yourself. Unless, of course, the invincible girl likes the praise. Sure. Great. Love it. <laughs> Glad to see you guys are getting along. Wait, one of the newbies is missing. Right, the girl with the ponytail. Uh, what was her name again? Helia? Ilia. Yeah, she's not a social creature, from what I can tell. But she's your teammate, right? How did you end up together in the initiation? Uh, pretty sure everyone else was paired up already. Someone's gotta be last. Would have taken one of these two, but... I recognized Oscar's name from Ruby's correspondence, so I already had him in my sights. <laughs> I'm sure Elia will show up to class. Speaking of, it's almost fourth period. Uh, we should go before we get into even more trouble. You are the Ice Queen. Come on, Freckle Twins. Let's get to class and hope our wayward teammate shows up. Who told her to call me that? No, seriously, who told her? Guilty! I wouldn't go that far. I'd go farther. We're best friends now. Weiss, you've been replaced, sucka! Who, who in their right mind told her to call me that? Who? Seriously, who? Who, who, bitch? I'm an owl now. <laughs> bada bing, bada fucking boom. It's me, Skylark. We don't have to like each other, but... Consider this an olive branch. An olive branch to you, not my fucking roommates that are ruining the recording. Ah, I can hear you in the background, bitches. Picture that's it. <laughs> Ugh, I need a drink. Mm, 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 mm. Unless, of course, the invincible girl likes the praise. <laughs> Trying to be a little shit is so fun and so infuriating. <laughs> like, Alex, please, fuck off. My ex-wife misses me. But her aim is getting better. But her aim is getting better. You see, it's funny, because marriage is terrible. <laughs> no one supervised missions till summer. What the fuck? 
plus, I kind of owe you for taking that shot from Roman. Someone's going to ship them now, aren't they? God, no. Bad internet. No. Stop. 